Looking for a free and easy way to add some professional polish to your iMovie projects? Well, iMovie actually contains a hidden collection of professionally designed titles and transitions that you can use in your projects. This hidden collection of pro-level content is really easy to use, but there's some things you need to watch out for. Let's jump in. All right, so here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.3.7 running on Mac OS Ventura 13.4.1 for your reference. And I have this sequence of clips in the timeline, and I'm gonna add some instant pizzazz, some instant production value to this edit here in iMovie. Now, all I need to do is go up to iMovie's top menu and select Window, Theme Chooser, or the shortcut Command-6. You can also get to the Theme Chooser by going over to the right of the timeline and opening the Settings menu, and beside Theme, selecting the Theme button, which is currently set to No Theme. And this window pops up containing several themes. So what is a theme? Well, a theme is a collection of bonus Apple designed elements you can use to spice up your iMovie projects. You can preview a theme by clicking on its play button. And you get this demo movie showing you the different elements, transitions, and titles of the theme in action, as well as music included in the theme. The demo footage is not included. The theme preview will loop until you hit this pause button. Okay, let's see how these themes work. I'm gonna select the newscast theme because it has a lot of dynamic elements. To add the theme to my project, I go down and select the change button, or you can also just double click on the theme to add it. And you can see a bunch of things happened in the timeline. I'll play back my project to see what happened. The theme added a fancy opening animation title, some custom transitions between the clips, and a closing animation title clip. Let me show you something though. I'm gonna select everything in the timeline and delete it. With the timeline empty, I'm gonna drag in my first clip and watch what happens. The opening animation title is automatically added to my first clip. As I drag in my second clip, you can see the closing animation title is added. As I add more clips, theme transitions are added between the clips in my project automatically. I'm gonna double click on this opening title element and it opens in the preview window, I can select the title text and edit it. But that's about it. I can't adjust the font or font color or alignment. If you look at the top of the preview window, you can see this message. Themed titles cannot be adjusted. And that goes for all themes in the theme chooser, unfortunately. Now, if you're not happy with the theme you picked, you can choose another one by going back into settings, and you can see the current theme is newscast. If I click on that, the theme chooser opens again and I can pick another theme. I'll double click neon to add it to my project. Now it doesn't look like anything happened in the timeline, but if I play back, the newscast theme elements have been replaced by the neon theme elements. So what about the music? Well, to add a particular theme's music to your project, you go up to the top of the browser and select the audio and video button, select sound effects in the left column, then select the effects drop-down menu, then go way down to the theme music folder, and in there you'll find music for each theme, though newscast music seems to be missing. I'm using the neon theme right now, so I'm gonna grab the neon music and drag it into the music well on my project's timeline and drag to fit it to my edit. And let's play back. Now let's say you don't want to use a theme in your project anymore. Well, to remove a theme, you go back into settings and select the current theme button or use the keyboard shortcut, Command-6. Then in the Theme Chooser, select 
no theme by double-clicking it. Now, if we look at the timeline, we see the neon theme title has been removed and the neon theme transitions have been replaced with standard cross-dissolve transitions. Now, I don't want that. I want to go back to my original edit with just cuts between the clips. So I'll remove these transitions by selecting and hitting the delete key. Wait a minute. What's this? Automatic titles and transitions are turned on. As you add clips to your movie, iMovie automatically inserts titles and transitions. To add your own, or remove them, you must turn this feature off. Titles and transitions that are already in your movie will not be removed. Ah, one of the curses of automation. Basically, no theme in the theme chooser is actually a theme, like the newscast and the neon themes. So we're stuck with the elements it gives us, which is just a very generic cross-dissolve transition. Same goes for the other themes. If you try to delete elements, you'll get this same message. So how do we get out of this? Well, by doing what the message suggests and turning off automatic content. You can turn off automatic content by clicking on the button in this pop-up message or by going into settings and unchecking automatic content. With automatic content turned off, I'm now free to add and remove a theme's elements as I please, which is why I recommend that when working with iMovie themes, you turn off automatic content as soon as possible. So now with automatic content turned off here in my project, I can go into my timeline and delete these transitions and add another one from the default iMovie transitions. All right, let's try this with one of the fancier themes. I'll hit Command Z or Command Z to undo the transition I added. I'll go back into settings, select the theme button, which is currently set to no theme. Up pops the theme chooser. I'll add newscast again by just double clicking it. iMovie automatically adds the theme elements. You can see them there. Now I'm going to go back into settings and I'm going to uncheck automatic content. All right, back over in the timeline, I want to change this simple cross dissolve here with one of the fancy transitions from the newscast theme. How do I do that exactly? Well, if you look up here in the transitions browser, you'll see in addition to iMovie's standard transitions, we have a few special transitions available. These transitions belong to the newscast theme. You can see over here it says current theme newscast. I can preview these transitions by just scrubbing over them, just like the default iMovie transitions. Then I just click and drag the transition I want to the spot I want on the timeline. And there it is. What if I want to add one of those fancy theme titles to my project? Well, I just go up to the top of the media browser and select Titles. And you can see, in addition to iMovie's standard title selection, we have special titles for the newscast theme that we can use, including some really cool animated lower third titles. I'm going to grab this one and place it on the timeline and put it over this clip right here. Now I can just double click this lower third title and add some text. Hit the check mark to take that. And let's have a look. Very nice. So with automatic content turned off for iMovie's themes, you have the flexibility to add and remove as many theme-based titles and transitions as you want to. And this works the same way for all of the other Apple-designed iMovie themes. And I should just mention, you don't have to use every element from a theme in your project. Maybe you just want to use the opening or closing title animation, or a specific lower third title, or just a transition. Play around, experiment. Just remember to turn off automatic content save you a lot of grief. And if you're looking for more hidden but powerful iMovie features to help you make better videos, 
head over to my channel and have a look at this video.